So we've been talking about the Idaho murders, the, the four students that were slain in their home on the early morning hours of the 13th of November. We've gone through different possibilities, who it was, and now the police have released this car, which they're saying they feel went past after video footage came out around about the time that the murders occurred. They feel that the person that owns this car or was driving this car at the time may have some information or is the suspect that they're looking for. They're currently looking through 25,000 vehicles to try and find somebody that might be part of this crime. They have now widened their search. And many have questioned whether or not this car, this person, should I say, would ever return to the scene of the crime. There's been photos of cars that look similar that were in the area and people have debunked that saying no this is a Chevy, no this is a Ford and it is very helpful to people that you know we debunk these rumours because it's interesting when we do find something that we can put our finger on and say might be correct. We saw this yesterday and this is a video by KTVB and then just take a look on the road behind him. And they were just talking about the murders they were talking about. They were there in the street and they were reporting live from the scene. They'd spoken to some of the neighbours who didn't know obviously what had happened until the following morning and were quite shocked. But in the background, while he is talking, a car moves behind him. And this car looks very similar to the one that they are looking for. Some people are suggesting that this is the person that has come back to the scene of the crime, that this is the suspect that they are looking for. But would this person be silly enough to return to the scene of the crime? I know some people do. But also, I want to show you something. And this was the night that a call came in near the ground, near the fraternity, uh, Sigma Chi fraternity, or Sigma Chi, should I say, fraternity. And four boys were given citations for drinking, for alcohol-related um, incident that I think there, there was some concern whether there was some fighting going on. We don't know who was involved. And the police blurred their faces out. But if you watch the road as they are police have the body cam footage on and they are talking to these i say suspects at the time you will see an, another white car going past this looks like an elantra to me i don't know what you think let me know in the comments section is this person in the area many people have suggested online that they cannot understand why this person has not come forward I tell you why they have not come forward because they're going to get arrested for murder of course they're not going to come forward they had every intention of getting away with this crime let me know what you think in the comment section about these two vehicles in the vicinity of the area let me know what you think I'll talk to you again soon